Welcome to City Cooks, everybody. You know, for more than 20 years, our guest today has been bringing exotic meats like wild Arctic muskox and alligator to the top chefs around the world. And what makes him extra special is his meat is all organic, and he's just been inducted into the BC Restaurant Hall of Fame, Mark Hills of Hills Foods. Welcome back to the show. Well, it's good to be here. Um, now, I know I've been bugging you about this and bugging you, but you, all this exotic meat that you always eat, do you ever get tired of it? I haven't yet. No? No, no, I find it, uh, well, it's quite enjoyable. In your it's freezer healthy. at home? Yes. What do you have? Well, it's quite a numerous collection of protein. Is there a chicken? Uh, yeah, we have some free run <laughs> unmedicated chicken. Maybe a little right? uh, organic chicken. Like plain ground beef? Uh, no, certified organic beef is uh, typically what we'd have in but our... But that's pretty good, though. What I'm, what I'm getting at, though, is do you have just the regular, everyday stuff? No, I don't, and and on purpose. I, I guess I could, but I, I really do appreciate the, what where this meat the comes from, things. unique things, as well as uh, from a. When you think about the production of food, and you go back to the source, I'm very comfortable working with organic, mm -hmm. the wild, or the farm-raised game. It's, yeah, it's, but you were far ahead of the game on that, and the fact that the free run, the organic, free range, all that kind of stuff, right? That's what people really want these days. Oh, uh, there's no question. We were ahead of the, the wave. We were probably 10 years too early. Yeah. But now we're here 21 years, and it's uh, it's really come into its own. Well, not only that, you, and you are, of course, the owner, the purveyor of the exotic as well. You're starting with a couple of eggs there, right? We're going to get to those. got to get those going, yeah. Get those going. We're going to get to that in a moment. But tell me about this. This um, we're, we're working with today, the wild Arctic muskox Mipkuzola. Mipku, Mipkuzola. Mipku means dried meat in the language of the Inuit. And, okay. uh, and the village of uh, Saks Harbor on Banks Island, where the muskox comes from, mm -hmm. we take this product and have it dry or air dried, cured in a special plant in Montreal so that we have uh, a federal production of this product so we can sell it across the country. Okay. And uh, we are selling. Uh, more and more all the time now because we're introducing different styles of preparation. It'd be great in a sandwich because what you've got here is you've almost, it's shaved, right? And it's fully yes. cooked. Well, this is actually a plate that you'd find in a restaurant in Edmonton, for instance. I, I like the style. Uh, Norman's restaurant, yeah. they, a little uh, Mixed greens there. Miss Mipkuzola. Yeah. They'll take a little cracked pepper, just like this, over the top, and you'll finish it with just a drizzle of truffle oil. Ooh, truffle oil. And that's how he'll serve that as an appetizer in his restaurant. And it's his best-selling appetizer. Really? Absolutely. How sustainable, though, is the muskox? Because I know a lot of people would ask questions like that as well about what they eat these days. It's very much controlled. Yeah. Uh, in effect, the muskox are encroaching on the caribou habitat on Banks Island. Oh. They'd like to be culling about 10% annually, and there's less than 1% being culled at this time. Really? It so just, there is a market for this product? I mean, you can supply if people oh, want yes. to try this. Th this is uh, probably the, when you mm. talk about muskox, tenderloin, strip loins, ribeyes, those sell steadily. This is taken from the leg, cured like a, similar to a prosciutto. Right. And uh, we're f utilizing a cut that typically wouldn't sell as well. So well, this is actually is, going to yeah, be a good Yeah, how much thing. is this, by the way? What's the price of uh, it? Retail, if you go down to, say, Deuces or at Granville Island or Urban Fair, uh, maybe East End Co-op, uh, even, uh, well, there's several retailers that yeah. have it now. You're probably going to be looking at around the $50 a kilo mark. Okay. But you have to remember that a little bit goes a long way. It certainly does. You know what? I've been munching on it ever since I saw it sitting here. <laughs> it is so good. It Excellent. really is. It's a very unique flavor. I quite like it. Okay, but we're not making this dish. We're making something else. What are we well, doing? Well, I thought I'd show you something new that we tried just recently, and it was a big hit at the party that we uh, introduced it at. Take a traditional eggs benedict. Right. And we're using a vitamin-enriched egg that we uh, we oh, sell at Hills Foods. You've got all the good stuff. You know, it's, you really do. It really is the best <laughs> egg on the market. Okay. They, they come from Manitoba, but the flavor, the color, the texture, it's it's a magnificent egg. Okay, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. Anyways, there, we've got them poaching and uh, the uh, in the water, the little touch of uh, vinegar, vinegar, just to hold that. it together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to make. Uh, we have some rounds you know, we'll here. Put right? these little rounds right here, and we'll we're get just this. toasting those a little bit. Are we'll we just here? Uh, here. put a little warmth to it, okay. and uh, then we're going to take a little bit of the uh, mipkazola, mm -hmm. just a little slice here, and. Uh, just do a little julienne cut. Do you want me to do that for you? You could do I that. I can cut just up a little bit of that. Nice so just strips. a little 
Yeah, you we're almost just, want to shred it a little bit, right? We're, we're really just going to do a little garnish on top of the egg. So uh, that again goes with your a little goes a long way. Yes, that's okay. actually all you need for this dish because it's a little sprinkle. Really? Have you met the crew? We well, might need to make a little bit more than that, though. Well, we do have more <laughs> for the crew. That's not a problem. Okay. So this so, is just, this all comes together really easily. It's pretty simple, like regular eggs Benedict here. Yeah, you just well the difference is I'll just stack one up here and yeah, in show lieu me how of this time. Works. I would take some of this shaved. Now, I would shave this on a regular meat slicer, right. which you'd want your deli guy to do, and you'd put oh about an ounce at best, not okay. even. Now that would go underneath where your traditional Canadian back bacon or ham okay, or whatever. So this is going to replace any of the meat in your eggs benedict. Correct. Okay. And you then put what? the egg on top, top and I've made a nice hollandaise here I to see that. just drizzle over top and then we'll finish it. We can show uh, at the end of the segment. Wow that's going to be so good. Are those almost done? Oh uh, they're just about there. Could be another minute. Okay well then we'll take a break. We'll take a break. We'll okay. show everybody when we come back how we got that all finished. Stay with Very us good. here at City Cooks. Good. Thanks.